This video will show my recommendations for using Seesaw and Canvas. You'll see in this course that I have a Seesaw example module. I'm going to show you how I created that and my recommendations when doing so. I'm going to start by clicking the plus module button and just create a module called Seesaw example. Then I'm going to click add module. Once I've added the module, then I'm able to begin to add content to it by clicking the plus button. I always like for the first thing in my module to be a page giving my students instructions. So I'm going to drop down and select page. Then I'm going to choose a page I've already created, which is called what should my teacher be for Halloween intro. This is based off of an activity that I've already assigned to them in Seesaw. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and add the item. The next thing I'm going to add is the external URL to my actual activities page in Seesaw. I'm going to do so by using the drop down to toggle down to the external URL. From here, I'm going to go back over to Seesaw and I'm going to copy this link that's in my activities. Then I'm going to paste it here. Then I'll give that page a name. What is my, or what should my teacher be for Halloween? I also like to add an emoji at the very front that looks like the Seesaw icon. So my students know whenever they see that, they know it will be taking them to Seesaw. I do this on my MacBook by using the shortcut, control, command, spacebar, and adding this little icon that looks like the Seesaw logo. I also like to click this button, load a new tab, when working with younger students. Then add item. The next thing I'm going to add is the actual assignment. So again, I'm gonna click the plus button this time I'm gonna drop down to assignment and then I'm going to select the assignment that I already created. Again, I like to use an emoji of the green check mark so my students know that they're going to be submitting something whenever they see that icon. Then I'm going to add that item. The last thing I'm going to add is a stop page. If you have more than one published module, your students will be able to access all of those modules. So I like to add a stop page at the end so that my students know when a module is finished. So plus, drop down to pages, and then add my stop page. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this module is published, and then we're going to take a look at it from student view. I'm going to go back to my home page, click on student view, and here's what this module looks like. So that intro page really just gives my students the instructions that they need. I do like to use a more large font for younger students, just so it's a little easier to read. Again, they've got that, those icons that really help them know what steps to follow. They're going to create in Seesaw, then they're going to take a screenshot. They're going to submit it in Seesaw, submit it in Canvas, and then of course celebrate. And then I created this little video. That way, if they need a reminder of how to do those steps, that those steps are outlined in that video. And again, I like to give them a nice reminder to use the navigation in the module to go to the next page. And you'll see that it opens Seesaw in a new tab. Then they'll click on I'm a student and scan our class code. Once they do that, it will take them directly to the activities page. When finished, they can just close the Seesaw tab and it takes them right back to Canvas. Now I'll click the next button and it takes them to the assignment. Then they can click assignment, choose file, and then they can upload the screenshot that they took of their Seesaw activity and then submit. And of course then, celebrate. I'm going to go ahead now and click one more just so you can see that stop page. So I make it super simple, but it's just a stop here and then a click to return home. Now that we've looked at it through student view, I'm going to go ahead and leave student view so we can see what it looks like once a student has submitted the assignment. So from the teacher side, once a student has submitted the assignment, we can now use the amazing tool SpeedGrader within Canvas. So now when I click on SpeedGrader, I'm able to see that student's submission. I can then grade that submission using a rubric, and I can leave feedback either with the comments or through the annotation features of SpeedGrader. Once I'm done with that student, I can easily use the arrows to navigate to the next student. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can use Seesaw and Canvas together.